Deep people are 28, Clinton Lynch for Illinois, 26, Darren Boyer. Jeff Skillet will kick it off. Skillet spells it like it sounds. He is a junior, and he is from Silvis, Illinois. Big lanky fella at 6'4". So Jeff hits it. It'll go to the end zone with the help of the wind. And here comes Lynch. And that may have been a mistake. No, it isn't either. He found a huge hole on the left side of the field. And he runs it out to the 38-yard line. With Skillet, the kicker, brings him down. Jason Produsko, the sophomore quarterback. Lucky fellow from Antioch, California. State wrestling champion. Has that mentality. Has a linebacker mentality at quarterback. Behind him, the Illini will line up. With Griffith and Lester, Turner and Wax, the wide outs. And here's your first snap of the ball game. First down from outside the 38-yard line. It's a pass. Sideline. Wax. Nine yards. The offensive front for the Illini. And look at the weights as you go down the line from the tight end. Jeff Pinky is the pass-receiving tight end. Wagner, and Lester, uh, Wagner, Lester, and Howard Griffith are the back behind the quarterback Produsco as they go to the eye formation. This spells run, and it is run, and it is a fumble. The ball rolling around in Iowa has recovered the football at their own 49-yard line. This is what will get you beat. All right, first down, Iowa at the 49. We'll set the lineup for you after this first snap. Matt Rogers pulls the trigger for the Hawkeyes. He goes for the big back bell. He gets up ahead of steam. He's on his way down the sideline. He's finally knocked down out of bounds inside the 10 by Henry Jones. That's the very thing that we told you at the beginning of the show. From the seven, Rogers drops the ball. Oh, the nerves. Matt Rogers uh, at 6'4 uh, and 205, the son of Jimmy Rogers, former coach of the Boston Celtics. Nick Bell, the big guy, 6'3", 255, at the tailback position. The fullback is Kuyaya, Kuwawa. I'll get it right in a minute. Kuyaya. He doesn't carry the ball as much as Bell. He is, however, a pretty good pass receiver. And now Rogers from the 10. Hands to Bell. He gets back to the 5. So he, again, good size. Not among the biggest lines in the country, but it's, it's young. And right now, they're handling them fine. It is third down and goal from the Illinois five-yard line. Rogers back to throw. Gets it away. Touchdown, Iowa. Mike Thunder. Matt Rogers completed the pass to Matt Rogers. Skillet for the point. Told by Jim Hartlieb, brother of Chuck. Everything is good about the play, and Iowa jumps to the lead seven to nothing. Remus doesn't know where the ball is. And it's easy. Skillet's kick off. Almost good for three. With that fumble, they're plus eight. One of the reasons for the turnaround of the Hawkeyes. Howard Griffith is the single back for Illinois. Produce go through on the first snap of the game. Gives instead this time to Griffith. And from the 20, Howard picks up close to seven yards. Santos, Ruland, Davis, Johnson, Smith. The big guys, the big dogs in that hunting group there are Ruland and Johnson. Derby and Foster having big year because of the change in defensive line play, philosophy of it. Polly and the Hanks, good corners, booked and wise of the safety. Wagner steps into the ball game, goes into the slot. That's Turner, a burner in motion. Give it to Howard Griffith, and he gets up to the 29. He's a yard short. Jason Reduzco pitches that ball back to Howard Griffith, and Iowa stops him short of the first down. Well, he's averaging just under 40. They get a little heat on him, but he gets a good kick away into the wind. Takes a soft bounce, and the Illini will put it down. Just outside the 35-yard line. 
to go to Pasadena. Illinois, however, has Michigan, Indiana in their future on the road. This is Nick Bell, big guy from Las Vegas, and he's much more fluid. The defense for Illinois, pretty well known in this neck of the woods, Foggy Gardner and A.G. A.G. going back to a down lineman position with Pulowski moving up to the rush position. Brownlow, of course, Derek Brownlow, one of the top linebackers in the country. Hamner, Hopkins, Primus, and Jones in a very good secondary. First down for Iowa. Bell again. Searches around, finds a couple of yards. That Devlin, the center, handled Gardner as well as any center all of last year. But you get preoccupied with Gardner, that's when A.G. will eat your lunch. That's for sure. This is Bell again. I mean, he is not easy. Bell. If you don't get him before it gets started, I mean, uh, his wagon is going to run over you because right now they're getting whooped. Bell has six carries, 84 yards. Here, Rogers dumps it off. It goes to Kuyawa. Kuyawa will get inside the 25. Both of these uh, coaches call the plays, and both were quarterbacks in college. Third down and two for Iowa. Ball up there in 23 of Illinois. Ball goes to Stewart. Stewart's got a first down for the Hawkeyes. First down, 18 of Illinois. Hail back Stewart. Made his cut just in time. But I'll know real quick. I'll know by midway in the first quarter. Uh, I've got a couple of game plans, and uh, whatever they do. Uh, I... 95%. What they do best, they may change it a little one wrinkle here or there. Nick Bell is back in. He's got it on short yardage. Just falling down. He can get to three yards. Kuyawa is the single back. Rogers sneaks, gets it. Matt Rogers stands 6'4. They put Bell about seven yards deep. Rogers gives it to him on a little delay, and he's at the four. Second down and goal. Rogers option gets a yard. Third and goal from the three. Stewart is the tailback. He's got it. Sweep. Throws the pass into the corner. Touchdown, Damon Hughes for Iowa. In the pass. Gillett's kick for the point is good. At four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Iowa, 14, Illinois, nothing. Well, it was only 24-21 into the third quarter, and they got beat in the last quarter. Ah! Uh, that's a good decision. Now Illinois has got to shake off the shock and try to get something going in from their end of the field as Verduzco throws. The ball is batted right back in his face by Big Matt Ruland. Defensive lineman is not going to make a sack. That's the next best thing. Handoff. Well, Lester, Wagner, Lester, who... Uh, but we cannot give them the basic uh, plays over and over again. We have to mix it up. Penalty flag, you may get a grounding here. Grounding the ball, yep. I mean, just absolutely threw that one away. I mean, the punter has been blocked three times out of the end zone. They get some heat, but he gets it out. Pretty good kick under the circumstances. That's Jeff Antilla. Antilla will go down. Oh, just absolutely dominating here in the first quarter of play. Well. And Bell picks up about two yards. Second down and eight. Matt Rogers loads it up. Can't find the man he wants. And he wants to know an ex-quarterback. He wants to know where that wind's coming from. He's like a center field. He go a pitcher. He goes out and looks and sees where the flag is. This is Nick Bell. Another big run, but he fumbles the football, but a trailing Hawkeye recovers it. Looks like Bellister with the recovery. That's Bell again. See that? Touchdown, Iowa.
255 pound bell just ran over Romero Bright. Steve Bro snaps it, and everything works. And at 2.01 to go in the first quarter, the Iowa Hawkeyes are blowing away the fighting Illini. <laughs> Good high, long kickoff, no return. Well, you see, um, I don't know how good you are. And I'll tell you, I've, I've said it about 20 times. You give Hayden Fry a whole winner to do on something, and he'll work something out. That might get picked off, but instead, it's a great play by David Olson. This ball is thrown up for grabs. Foster is 66, and Hanks is 45, two of their best players. And Olsen goes up and takes it away. The red shirt freshman. Sean Wax uh, gets off the field. He got dinged up on that play. Verduzco throws underneath to Finky, the other tight end. So finally they look with a minute and 15 to play in the first quarter. 21 to nothing, Iowa. Griffith is just buried. No, it's uh, Fagan. Iowa shows blitz. And then Derby backs out, and the pass is thrown short. That's a good catch by Turner, but for Gittery. Here's the punt, and Phillip backs up inside the 20, takes it at the 18, and has a crack. He comes back to the 33, where he's taken down. And Iowa, roping right now, 21 to nothing. Nick Bell, the opportunity to have a huge first quarter. Matt Rogers sideline pattern. Pass is good. Gain is about eight yards. Second down and two. Second man. Stewart. Big play. 45-yard line. Illinois. First down. And he throws it, snaps it when he needs to. A snapping offense right now for the Iowa Hawkeyes. There's a hard lick late on. Uh, it's only about 300 yards shy of the all-time rushing lead at the University of Iowa. Second down and seven. Rogers takes off. Got his first down. The leading 21 to nothing. This is Stewart. Oh, that's a pretty cute move. And if number 98 at the Illinois 22. Stewart, oh, left side. Lou Tepper on the left, the defensive coordinator for Illinois. Bell. And the big man plows inside the 10. It's first and goal. Dick Bell has 139 yards. Already. And he's got the ball. Tries to bounce it outside. Shut out there. Bell is the single back. This has got pass all over it. Nope, they run that delay to Bell. And he butts head right in the middle. Face mask. Illinois. Illinois goal line defense. Big people check in. Handoff goes to number 33, Marvin. Back to see that 195 pounder coming. He looks like a little guy. It's Bell. Touchdown, Iowa. <laughs> 10 09 to go in the first half. Four possessions. Kill it for the point. Good. The leaves are falling from the trees. Iowa 28, Illinois nothing. Low line drive. Five yard line. Lynch finally gets to run with it. Gets it back to the 30. Call it the 29 yard line. First down for Illinois. Interesting to see how Vaduzko handled this series thing. They had him scuffling around a while ago. There was a little drop off to Griffith. And Howard Griffith, who had been complaining, got to you got to keep the ball a little longer than that, even if you don't score. 
First down from the 45. Reduce again throws underneath in the coverage. Works the pass for about four yards. The defense needs to stop the uh, Hawkeyes. Second down and six. Griffith is back in. Ball is on the 49 of Illinois. They get Medusco wiggling around. He throws it away. Third and six. Held the long remaining back. It is a pass play. Medusco has a good look. Find somebody. First down. Illinois for Verduzco. That's not uncommon for Illinois. Griffith. Now Lester. The backfield. And they got themselves in a hole and a half today. Second down and seven. Fletcher, great play by number 66, Melvin Foster. Third down, 18. Pass is good to Wax. Sean Wax at 6'4", 190, and the ball is, knows of it is just at the hash mark at the 31. It's fourth down and about a foot. Griffith gets outside. I don't know. That, that is not the kind of a play. Illinois now with six yards rushing. Iowa 204. Produsco's pass to the corner. Touchdown, John Wax. the three-yard line for Damon Hughes. Damon sort of searches his way around and gets up to about the 20-yard line. All right, here's the big test for the Illinois defense right here. They tell you what's liable to happen or what can happen the rest of the way this afternoon. Matt Rogers gives up ball to Stewart. Tony Stewart gets 206 yards in a little over a quarter and a half. Second and seven, Rogers pass to the sideline. Smith is open again. Smith has been open twice on that play. There's Saunders. Oh, I see you've got an Illinois man who pushes an Iowa man into the official, and he <laughs> knocks him down. Yeah. Dead ball, personal foul on the defense. First down. That's where we are right now. Iowa first down at their own 47-yard line. Matt Rogers got a man. Pass is caught by Hughes, and Damon Hughes is out of bounds at the 20. This is Stewart. Has about four yards from the 16. Stewart again. He's out of bounds at the 15 by Henry Jones. Third down and five. Can he play defense? Rogers, pressure coming from the backside. Rogers turns in, no place to go. Field goal team will head onto the field. But that's all right, and I know that's right because I've been living with the Norwegian lady for <laughs> now the 40 years. <laughs> into the end zone. Touchdown, the Hawkeyes have run another one as Matt Whitaker, the tight end, slips in and takes it from Hartlieb, the holder. So Hayden Fry goes to the gimmick. He's been known for surprises throughout his career. Now Skillet does get the ticket, knocks it straight through the upright. And the noise gets a much lower sound. Settling to a rumble grumble right now as the Hawkeyes again lead. But all right, the Illini go to work just beyond the 25, and Produsco throws. Pass is caught by Wagner Lester, and adopted it. Burlington newspaper publishes. And 
defense to allow the uh, Iowa football team to gain the Hawkeyes. They're trying to set up a little screen here for Lester. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Verduzco's pass. Good arm shown there. Pass complete to Howard Griffith, and it's good for the first down. This 5'9 quarterback, sophomore from California, trying to drag the Illini up a big hill. Hand it off inside to Howard Griffith. That's featuring the Louisville Cardinals. My old friend Howard Schellenberger, who's done a tremendous job at Louisville. Down for the first down at the Iowa 35-yard line. Call it the 36. First down. Shotgun. Reduce Got a man wide open. Sean Wax. And Wax is inside the 15 to the 12. First down, Illinois at the Iowa 12. 2-10 to play first half. Verduzco got a sore knee left over from the Michigan State game. And under pressure. Played last week and didn't play very well. Melvin Foster is out. They go to the nickel back. This is Lester carrying the ball. And Wagner Lester is inside the 10. Well, Hayden says, hey, I'm, I'm not above getting some new fresh blood in here, new ideas. This is WXYZ TV, Channel 7, Detroit. Than it is. It's called against Foller. The big thing here is that brings automatic first with it. So now Illinois gets four more snaps from the three. That's Finky, the tight end in motion. Jittery, nerves. They're very jumpy down inside the five. Finky knocked down penalty flag. Got to move it back down. Once again, it's first and goal inside uh, right about, let's say, the two-yard line. Reduce goal throw. Touchdown. Lester. drive six of seven for 60 yards of the touchdown and Higgins point try is good so you've got 143 this is Van Phillip who will put it down and first down from the 20. Bell has it and Bell has taken down Derek Brownlow. Did it? There's 31 minutes and 32 seconds left. Stewart. And third down and six for Iowa. Matt Rogers misses his man Stewart. Illinois almost jumped, got back, kick is away, good tight spin on it, and a fair catch is called, back up at the 41-yard line, the uh, precious thing here is time. Verduzco's pass is slapped away, they one wondering, you don't pass it much either. <laughs> Verduzco gets it away, and... Uh, Avoids the sack. We give Higgins a shot at it. Produsco misses Mueller. Where's Wax? Complete passer. I will get the ball back. They get a little pressure on uh, Forey Wells, but he gets the kick out of there. And this is Ann Phillip. And he's down at the 13-yard line. Stewart is the tailback. At halftime in Champaign, it is 35, Iowa, 14, Illinois. One of the startling developments of this November Saturday. Iowa will have the ball. Damon Hughes. 
Rogers and Jeff Antilla back to receive the kick of Corey Wells. Wells, the punter, does the kicking off. The second half is off. There will be a return by Antilla. Not a particularly good one because he was looking for a crack. It's not a time to get conservative. Nick Bell is back in there at tailback after Tony Stewart did most of the work in the second quarter. Bell, the big man, trying to get around the corner, and he is one, two, three, four, five. Bell again. Chris up. Coming up on the corner, number 25 for Iowa. Third and six. Matt Rogers gets the pass away. The pass is caught. Caught by Michael Tipley, his first reception of the day. And the big tight end. Bell into the middle. And it was Brownlow who was knocked back. Matt Rogers on second down and eight. Gets the heat. Down he goes. Third and seven. Rogers pass complete. First down. Bell got it coming out of the backfield. And the ball goes down. Double wide now for Iowa. Bottom of the television picture. First down. Back to Bell. Bell up the middle. Runs over one. It's first down Iowa. The ball now rests at the Illinois 32-yard line. Ball is handed off to number 23, Kuyawa. And the sophomore from Cudahy, Wisconsin. Bell. Down he goes. They're just supposed to be, he's a defensive lineman in high school. Come on, these guys are supposed to be. <laughs> That's Kuyawa. Third and seven, inside the 20 of Illinois. Matt Rogers gets it away into the corner. Touchdown, Damon Hughes. At 9 12 to go in the third quarter missed it kick is no good my goodness we don't see that often anymore 9 12 remaining in the third so it's period. now 41 14 iowa, iowa. we're near time to uncork very 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 impressive that's at the nine-yard line, Clinton Lynch, Westman from Youngstown, Ohio. Back across the 35 to the 36. <laughs> it remains to be seen what happens. Well, they're definitely in a position where they've got to throw, throw, and throw, and... <laughs> comes again. And Verdusco has to unload it. No catch. Short hop to man. Punt. Not very good. Wells gets a good bounce on it, however, is finally down back at the Iowa 37-yard line. See the Huskies against UCLA, which is ahead of Oregon 17-10. Tony Stewart is the tailback now as Iowa starts from the 43-yard line first down. Second down, 11, as Stewart lost a yard. Matt Rogers throws down the pipe, incomplete. Third and 11. Big one down the middle, Dan and Hughes, he's got it down at the Illinois 32-yard line. First down, Iowa. I'm just very impressed with the way Hayden Fry has got this team ready to play. Rogers back to Stewart. Stewart slants over left tackle and then turns straight up field. 
Tony Stewart is taken down. And the outside man made that play defensively. Second off. Pressure coming on Rogers. He throws it away. We're expecting rain to arrive anytime. Rogers, pass good. Pass caught by Kuyawa. And Kuyawa gets to the 13. Field goal units in the ball game. Jim Hartley threw a touchdown pass from this posture earlier. This time the kick is up by Skillet. And the kick is good from 29 yards. And the score grows now to 44 14, Iowa leading Illinois. Time remaining third quarter, five minutes and 20 seconds. The theory of superconductivity. Ball pouncing picked up by Clinton Lent back on the 13 yard line and comes out to the 25. Movement on the right side. All right, first down and 15 for a beleaguered Illinois right here. Produsco throws late penalty flag. The hit was early by Polly. 14 yards. Decent pass interference. 15 yards and automatic first down. It was early. It just doesn't look like it from that sat in the half of the first quarter. First down at the 35 now, and this is Howard Griffith. And it's doubtful whether he will return. They've ta they've actually aced, bandaged it and iced it. They don't think he'll be back. 44-14. Third down. And they need four. Produsco has all day. And Elbert Turner is the intended receiver. Wells gets it off. Antilla at the 18. Got a little hole. And then it closes right around the 30-yard line. Uh, Gary Mola, because the same thing happened to them on their home field uh, to one of the uh, uh, top teams in the Big Ten. And then listening to guys like uh, Melvin Buster. The unity that uh, they have created. Stewart leaves with 88 yards on 16 carries. Bell has 21 carries and 165 yards, plus a couple right here on this carry. Rogers gets away from Bryce, lets it go for Bell, and Bell can't get it. Trying to fight his way through the. it up there and all that hang time forces a fair catch back at the 30 yard line Griffith second down and ten reduce goes pass thrown underneath the coverage. Now he's got a snap shotgun coming cold off the bench. Got it off all right. Produsco's pass is good to Albert Turner. Kansas State beat Iowa State. My goodness, that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, penalty flag by the umpire. Yep. <laughs> at the 35 yard line first and 20 produce going to drop is really belted knocked into the middle of next week I think Nebraska has, has just quietly beaten everybody they've played all yep. year yep. and gotten a little better as time goes on it didn't open very strong and didn't play anybody early in the season they had a lot of young players Produsco finally unloads it to Wagner Lester Ask the point. Mueller. 
He is short of the first down. He's on the Iowa side of the field. Ball at the Iowa 47. This probably the last play of the third quarter. Little quick pass. He, he was in bounds to, to wax. And, and the quarter is over. 44-14 Hawkeyes. Back with more between Iowa and Illinois after this message and the word from our ABC station. That they were getting better and better and better and better. And Illinois right now with the football on first down. Having a terrible time acquiring any real estate of Rich Yanakakis is in its center. Jason Verduzco trying to find some kind of a touch. Trying to find something to get the Illini moving. Oh. That's a good throw. In the traffic caught by Sean Wax. <laughs> Seven catches, 109 yards. First down, Illinois, 11-yard line of Iowa. Thrown out of the end zone. Incomplete forward pass. They're not doing as well this year. We'll talk about it in a minute. This is Bell. And Camino Bell will take it inside the 10. He's sacrificing for the team the new uh, defensive concept that the Hawkeyes are using. There's your Illinois touchdown. Sean Wax cutting across, and he takes one right at the chops from Carlos James, and he's down. And I mean, James really belted him. And he was right in front of an official. So the hit must have been clean. To try and get in Verduzco's face. That was a little late. Yeah, I thought it was, too. Yeah. The man standing right there looking at it. Yeah. Kick is good by Doug Higgins. 13.08 to go in a ball game. And it's 44 to 21 now. Iowa leading. But when you do as much talking as Sean Wax does, there might be a guy laying back there in the bushes waiting to <laughs> pop you one. Get it. Wind holds it up. Ball accepted by Hughes on the dead run and fumble. Covered by Illinois. First down, Illini at midfield. Produsco out of the shotgun. He's got to throw the ball into the wind, remember? Oh, man, no chance. Greg Engel is now playing center for Illinois. Got to plug that hole. Reduce passes away and caught by Stephen Mueller, who is thrown out of bounds at the 46-yard line. I mean, that they certainly can go on and should go on and win the remainder of their games and the Big Ten title. Ball is tipped. And falls incomplete. It was fourth down, and uh, and Minnesota is still in the hunt. Yes, they are. And Matt Rogers lets it go. Caught at the one by Sean Smith. Fools the free safety. 31 is sucked up. That's Donnelly. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown, Hawkeye. <laughs> Iowa band is not here. Did my offense, I call set where it itches. He figured by the middle of the first quarter, he'd have it figured out where he had best run his offense today, and I think it's abundantly clear. And whatever it was he decided was a pretty good choice. They look to kick it away with Boyer and Lynch back for the Illini. Lynch. Pretty good run back. Well, I don't have 
have to worry about him mobbing <laughs> off to me. Well, I think I can't say much more than that, Keith. <laughs> He's a good one. Blocked eight kicks for the uh, Hawkeyes. Pass is complete and will be good for a first down to Camino Bell. In over Washington State, he was a key man. Honda presenting a check for $2,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of the University of Arizona. And Albert Turner. Oftentimes when people are knocked a little loose like that, it's the it's velocity that does it as much as anything. There's a shot down the middle, passes good to Mueller. Mueller's inside the five for the Illini. Verduzco's pass is incomplete. Little pop pass into the end zone. Sean Wax, touchdown. Down of the day. Pretty good day here. Higgins' kick is good. Kick is good. Nine minutes, 50 seconds remain in the game. 9.50 to play. It's 51-28 now. Yeah, but surely they ain't going to do no hokey pokey. That was the last time he took her dancing. <laughs> Jim Hartley is now in at quarterback. For the Iowa Hawkeyes, the ball comes out, but the whistle has long since blown. And after last year, it was a tough year for this team. This is Tony Stewart. And he gets about nine yards by Jack. Stewart trying for the first down is a yard short. He just, he kept saying, we're young, and they made a lot of turnovers, a lot of mistakes. He's eliminated the mistakes. The team has matured, and, uh... Oh, man, you talk about everything going right. Yeah. Holding is what? And it's against Illinois. From the three now, the Illini will go to work again. 51-28 to score. Wagner Lester trying to... Eight of the last nine years, one of these two teams has been, had the... All Big Ten quarterback. 28 out of 44. Over 300 yards. But his team is getting walloped. And that pass is thrown out of bounds. Tennessee's got Notre Dame coming to call. Next week, isn't it? Yep. Second down and 10. Little pass thrown under to Sean Wax. And Wax is... Down at the 20. We talked about all the road games that they had, and they've won big on the road. That pass was delivered just as the man turned. And Jimmy Hardis is in at the low liner that bounces toward the sidelines and will go out of bounds at the 44-yard line. From the 44, the Hawkeyes go to work. Tony Stewart carries that Minnesota, who has to go to Michigan and play at Michigan State and Iowa, is going to lose one of those three. This is Jim Hartley. Out of bounds. Inside the 20 by Phil Mel Johnson. Personal foul. Yep, you're right. Congratulations to Don James. That one. Stewart. Weaves in heavy traffic. You probably see Notre Dame go back to the top in next week's poll, I would think. Especially if uh, Nebraska gets beat. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, three weeks, next three weeks, Trenchy. Hartley. He's finally down at the six. The spot is at the 12, 22 yarder by Skillet is good. 3.39 to play in the game, and it goes now to 54, 28, Iowa over Illinois in one of the day's shuckers in college football. Hooked it a little bit, kicked it high and short, taken by Lynch. Clinton Lynch 
get out to the 33 yard line uh, I'll just tell you that Iowa got out early stunned uh, the big crowd of 72,000 plus shot the team Verduzco goes down it's three minutes and 25 seconds to play in the game it is 54 to 28 Incomplete pass. Next couple of years to come. It's got to be doubly disappointing because this was supposed to be the year for Illinois. Dump off pass to Wagner Lester, and Lester will come up about a yard short of it. Hey! Hey! coach pass is good for the first down. And 11 of those 22 starters were fifth year seniors. They were 10 and 2 last year. Here it goes again. The pass is thrown the other side, but Mueller fumbles the football. He made the catch, he dropped the ball, and Iowa takes it away from him. Now Wax is into it good back there. Kind of chiding him in the other direction. Leave is a quarterback, hands it off to Marvin Lampkin. And Barry. Mark Amedo on computer. Mike Bird on graphics. Kirsten Anderson, stage manager. Lampkin. The Your final score, Iowa 54, Illinois 28. The Hawkeyes, the only unbeaten team in the Big Ten. And they made it a convincing show. Congratulations.